Excellent. All right. Cool. Let's go to favorite. Um, Ordman. Oh, um, yeah. Ordman tells Junkyard is coming up. So I realized I said something earlier uh, in the first part of this, which is that I would not start a uh, call spaceport. I would I would basically have have to have one entire video dedicated to call spaceport. So I don't know if I'll have it in me to do it after this, but it might be a lie. It might not be. Let's see how Ord Mantel Junkyard goes. I forget how long that is, but it's like oh, is it like 25 minutes? Wow, we're not reading that. This is more interesting than, than reading the, the text crawl. But it's no FMV, Nintendo. It's when we have this this dude, Prince Shizor, who I'm sure I'm sure this is a much more fleshed out story. In, uh, in like the comics or whatever it is that make up the actual story, but no, this it's it's cool stuff, but um, I don't care that much about it right now. There's something involved here that I have to go find. I have to go find IG88. And then I have to go find Boba Fett, and that's how I find uh, Prince Caesar's thing and take him down. I forget exactly how that goes, but yeah, just the more interesting thing is uh, we'll start with this this level, right? Jump, yeah. Challenge point. So the really interesting thing about this level is clearly I'm on this train. Oh yeah, I forgot that that's there. Jump? Okay. So I'm on this train and clearly the train uh, moves underneath me as I jump. So I either have to uh, jump or I have to duck. So like right here, I have to duck. There's shit whizzing by me that is, it would be really nice if I could grab it, but I don't have the reflexes for that. So yeah, it's... That's the real tough part of this level. And like I said in the last part, I think... Like, this is the the weaker part of this game, is, is the platforming being really fucking difficult. This is the kind of shit that they pull in this. Uh, every jump feels like kind of really floaty. Like when you go up, you don't necessarily know when you're gonna come back down. Especially when you're like on this sort of thing. You know, there's another thing that's moving beneath you. And the camera being kind of right up against Dash, it kind of makes everything like a lot of just a big ball of uncertainty every time you go up in the air and it it's not that it really is uh, unfair or anything like that it's just something you have to get used to it's just it's uh it's scary it's a scary level because pretty much every time you go up you gotta get scared about it and the boss this is when the bosses start to get tougher I know that the uh, the ATST that I fought on uh, Echo Base, he was obviously kind of a pushover. Since we're still on easy mode, but I remember even even on easy mode, it was like oh, extra life, please. Uh, am I supposed to be on one of these? Yeah. It's just a big, long, tricky platforming mission. And yeah, I had to go over here. Oh my god. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And it's... Uh, it's, ex it's fucking heart-wrenching, really. I don't remember which way that is. Fuck. 
can't tell if every jump, it's like you don't know if it's gonna be a reflex thing or a timing thing or or a. Uh, oh my god, fuck you! Go away. What is over here? Some of the jumps are reflexes. Some of the jumps are timing. Some of the jumps are fucking um, just knowing if you're supposed to be on this one or that one and when to jump, how to jump. This is so fucking nerve-wracking doing this. This isn't about this being on easy mode or hard mode or whatever. This is about this being like you have to know what you're what you're doing on this level. It's intense focus platform. I could say that this is the toughest level in this game, but realistically, it's the end levels are hard because they throw a lot of enemies at you. Um, oh, please tell me I'm on the right train. Oh god, please tell me I'm on the right train. I'm not. Jump. Oh Jesus Christ, I almost missed that. Holy shit. Good luck. Is that what that is? No. Oh, I almost got the challenge one. I would like more lives. If I can get more lives, I'll fucking take it. Because it's the later ones and you're fighting uh, a lot of guys at the same time. Like, uh, the sewers and stuff. Mostly, mostly in Shizor's Palace. That was, I think, because I never finished it. I think Shizor's Palace gave me kind of a tough time. Remember, there's just a lot of people. So I had to deal with a copyright uh, claim last time I did this. I'm, I'm just surprised it was my first copyright claim, because I figured I would get one from uh, Nintendo. Uh, before I got one from so from anyone regarding Star Wars, but for whatever reason it was from Sony, um, because of two of the tracks that are in... Uh, one was from the asteroid field level, and one was from uh, Battle in the Snow, the Hoth level. Um, I was I was kind of confused because it just didn't make sense that Sony would give me a copyright claim. I assumed it would be Disney, if anything. Um, and it was at that point that I had. To, oh my God! Are you fucking kidding me? See, I could have sworn that I fucking jumped right, but I guess I. Just a split second after I'd like kind of left dash kind of left his feet is when that happened. So that's that's why I need like actual life and shit. But I uh, anyway copyright claims on the last video probably on this video. Um, that was the point when I had to just go and figure out like what you're actually supposed to do with those, and it's really no problem. You can go and watch that video um, like right now. Um, it's just that when I put it up, it was, uh, there was a content claim on the two songs, the two, tr the score tracks. Uh, and obviously I was just like, well, I'm not doing this for profit, uh, this is fair use, blah blah blah, and also everyone else does this. Uh, it was just weird, because I, I figured I, at some point I would have to do that, I just didn't expect it on this one. I think someone's gonna come and try and shoot me through the back door or something. So the thing that sucks about this jump is I, I always feel, I'm pretty sure that I would hit the door frame. Uh, and if I had if I was able to time it so that I didn't hit the door frame, <laughs> then I would have just run right off the thing. But I'm actually going to right now. Turn around without walking, please, so I can shoot that thing. Thanks. Oh fuck! Slides. I have to make a, a jump. Yeah, 
while it's turning through the through the kind of like handrail thing. Yeah. I think if I remember correctly, I am supposed to be moving towards the front of the train. Which I think is you're always kind of supposed to be doing that. Ooh, extra life. The fact that there's an extra life actually makes me think that maybe I shouldn't be at this part and I should be running back towards something else. Ooh, this is this the end? This is almost the end? Probably not. When I get to the end of the level, I'm gonna fight uh, IG-88 on some heaps of garbage. Because this is the junkyard. This is a massive fucking junkyard. I always think of that most of the way through the level, I'm pretty sure. You realize, like, this is a long-ass level. Why is there a big train necessary to get through the junkyard? Just, it's fucking huge. It's like the whole planet is a junkyard. Is he telling me that because I'm not on the right train? Or is, or is that scripted and he's going to tell me that anyway? Because I feel like it wouldn't have been the first time. Uh... I got nowhere else to go. I don't know what's happening. All that did was make me paranoid. And this camera angle is garbage. There we go. What's happening? What? Was there a side-by-side -side bit that I missed? train. Okay. This one first. Okay. And then... What's happening? There is another one coming. Yes, okay. There's another one coming up over here. See, this is what I'm talking about, though, is I never feel like I know what I'm doing. He's saying, oh, jump to the next one. I prefer to just be shooting guys in this whole thing. Make my way... It's it's so interesting. It's really interesting level design because it's this level is not like anything else in the game. It's mostly platforming. And then once we get to the next level, it's going to be mostly jetpack stuff. Um, which is a completely different ballgame from, uh, from just platforming and jumping around and shit. Um... If this were a less creative but more straightforward game, I would just be fighting my way to the front of the train through a bunch of motherfuckers. But that's just not the way that it is. So it makes for a really tough level that makes me, you know, my heart pound, but... Overall, I guess it it does contribute to the, to the charm of the game, I really do think that. It's just... Fucking nerve-wracking. What's happening? Duh. What happened? And then you go fight IG-88. Okay, um, fix, fix, uh, hey, 